Hello, this is Last Garden Standing again, and on my year-end year peppers, I'm going to show you how to stuff them. I'm going to go ahead and do that recipe for you. At the beginning of the year, we had much bigger Anaheims, but the last ones that I picked are a little bit smaller, but they're still good size for stuffed pep Anaheim peppers. So, first of all, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I put in the cream cheese. This is softened cream cheese. I'm going to use some green onions and put in there, some bacon bits. I'm using the soft ones, but you can also use the crunchy if you prefer. We've got uh, some Mexican cheese and some jalapeno pepper jack cheese. And, but if you don't like it spicy, you can use American or cheddar, any kind of cheese you want. I just like my Anaheim uh, hot and spicy. So we're going to cut up that. We're going to cut up a few other peppers to make it look good. We're going to put our basil and oregano in it too. And then we're going to put it all in the cheese, stir it up, stuff it, and wrap it with bacon. So I'll come back and show you that. What I did is took a little bit of each one of these peppers, these beautiful peppers here, the red, the yellow, the orange, and the green pepper, chopped them all up. I'm going to add that to my... Uh, cream cheese mixture along with everything else. By the way, the basils is all my basils. The sweet basil, it's the cinnamon basil, it's a lot of those that I've chopped up and put together. And then this is my oregano. So just so you know, that's the kind of thing I put in here. Alright, we've got most of our boats cut, but I just, and we've got all the ingredients in the cream cheese ready to go. I'm going to show you how to cut the boat. You just do a slit across, a slit down a ways, and on the other side, like that, and then you take the middle out, and unfortunately, you don't really need this part, so you also could cut these and put them in your cheese instead of these colored ones, if you'd like. What you do is just clean out the seeds, uh, put them aside, two, just right there, clean them out, and then you've got your boat for your cream cheese. So we're just going to cut one more and then we're going to fill them. Here we go again. That. Like that. Put this aside. Clean out your seeds all the way to the top, like that. Okay, and now we're going to fill one or two. We're going to put them in our pan. Let's just get them filled. What you do is just, I put everything in this mixture. So what you do, you just take your hands with gloves, preferably. This is the easiest way. You can use a spoon, but it seems to be faster this way. Actually fill it up, like so, all the way down. Here you go. Then I have told you I use pepper jack cheese. Sprinkle a little of that on. Sprinkle a little Mexican cheese or American, whichever you prefer. And then you take a piece of bacon of your choice. I like a little bit more expensive bacon. What you do is just wrap it around like so. Like that. And you put it in your pan. Let's do one more. And then what I have done is preheated the oven already at 375. For the real big Anaheims, like I had at the beginning of the year, you cook at least 30 to 35 minutes. But for these smaller ones, you can cook them anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, they're just, you know, or anywhere in there, whatever you prefer. Depends how much you like them done. There's that. We're taking our bacon. One more time here. Wrap it around. Just wrap it like this, like that, 
and it will stay pretty much in place. We're going to finish these up, 375 your oven for 20 to 30 minutes depending. And then after that you broil it anywhere from 2 minutes to 5 minutes. And that just basically gets your bacon done in the top of it real crisp. And we'll show you what happens when I take them out. Okay, here's our pan full of peppers. We're getting ready to put them in a 375 temperature oven. And we're going to do that for about 20 to 30 minutes. This is the finished product. I just took the Anaheim peppers out of the oven. Uh, you can do the bacon a little bit longer on the broil if you want your bacon more crisp. Otherwise, it's about two to five minutes is all you need. And after you bake it at 375 for about 20 to 30 minutes. I also have more videos coming for the year end and approaching fall. I have a lot of tomatoes left, so I might do some canning tomatoes as well. Anyway, more recipes too for the winter. Thank you for watching. Share, like, and comment. Give me some ideas. Thank you.